did the same thing I did. We'll, uh, we'll just edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> we already had it poured. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm Laura Emtage. I'm from Emtage Photography. And this is Stephanie. And I'll let you introduce yourself. And I own Sprightly Events, a wedding planning and coordination company. So we met about four years ago, right? Four years ago? 2015. 2015. Yeah, yeah. so four years ago, yeah. yeah. It was uh, Stephanie and Gavin's wedding, and I was able to be there to photograph it, which was really fun. Yeah, we were looking for a second shooter, and Laura was just starting uh, wedding photography, so got in touch with her and added her to our vendor list. Yeah, and then we've just kind of been bumping around in the, the industry together, and yeah. sort of just knowing a lot of the same people, and we're going to do some weddings together this year too. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny that it's taken four years to actually work together again, but we're going to get there, and yeah, we do have two weddings uh, next year together. Mm -hmm. Hopefully more. We'll yeah. see, we'll see yeah. what we can do. I'll, I'll try to get all my clients on board. <laughs> yes. no, you need a planner. And you need a photographer. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we sort of thought we would just start talking about wedding stuff because that's what we like to do. <laughs> <laughs> it is what we do, yes. Yeah. Um, and you had told me a really good story about incorporating pets uh, into your wedding, so yeah. do you want to tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I had this really fun couple this year, um, Stacy and Peter, and they brought their two pooches to the engagement session, and they were a lot of fun. And when I got to the reception, what they had done is actually Stacy's sister-in-law had taken all these photos of the dogs with a chalkboard around their neck with like one, two, three, and they set these photos on the table. And it was the most adorable thing I've ever seen. And the, the guests loved it. Like, they just, I mean, people don't usually get excited about table numbers. They yeah. just kind of just be like, oh yeah, that's where I'm sitting. But yeah. like the guests were like, oh, can I take this photo home? I love this. And it was, yeah, it was super cute. That's adorable. Yeah, it was yeah. nice. And then um, at the entrance, they had like little take home treat bags for your doggy, Aww, which was nice. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So there's actually a lot of ways you can incorporate your pets into your day. Um, pets are, they're family members and I feel like they should be a part of your day. Um, I know a lot of engagement sessions are using their pets mm -hmm. um, and then a lot of couples I've actually this year have been using their dogs as like ring bears and things like that. That's cute. So it's super cute, yeah. yeah. Um, I know like Florists are now making the floral hoops oh, for them. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, like floral oh. collars. Okay, you have to send me a link to that. Yeah, so cute that. Um, ways to incorporate pets into your wedding day. Mm -hmm. um, you had also said there was like a dog trainer or something. Yeah, so there actually is a local dog trainer who, I think they launched their business around training dogs for... Um, weddings, so getting them to sit and stay and walk down the aisle and get comfortable being around all those people. Um, I think it's a really creative idea if you're going to use your dog um, as a ring bearer or a flower girl or something like that. Yeah, that's smart. Get them comfortable around, you know, 500 eyes staring at them. So, um, yeah, there is a local company around. We can link that too. Um, and another thing I've seen too with pets is. Um, yeah, the dog treats as favors, but we've also seen in lieu of favors is doing like a donation to you know animal shelters oh, that's nice. or yeah rescues yeah. things like that. That's so, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Now you have a pooch too. I do. Yes, a big one. A golden. You doodle. shot his newborn. Photos. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter theme. Yeah. That yeah. was so fun. <laughs> you were like dogs, Harry Potter. I'm like yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's named after a Harry Potter character, yeah. so it was only fitting for him, but. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, not so little anymore. How, how old is he? Two years. Two years, yeah. yeah. Giant. Yeah. How much does he weigh? Um, 75 pounds. Okay. And when Laura shot him, he was mm, like three pounds maybe. Yeah, he was just <laughs> yeah. yeah, so much bigger now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. cool. Just have cats? Uh, yeah, I have two cats. Yeah. They're 17 and 15. And I have a bird back there, a little budgie. Oh, nice. Brand new. Well, I only got him for my birthday, so it was like... It's like four months old or something. Okay. Yeah, he's super cute. Nice. I had a bird when I was a kid, and then someone I knew got a bird, and I like when I got my hand on it, it was like, <gasps> like I didn't realize how excited yeah. I'd be about it. So I was like, I'm doing this. Like that's awesome. I'm getting a bird. Yeah. Your bird's actually super quiet, so that's yeah, he's quiet. Surprising. Yeah, he's very quiet. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he's good company because like as you can see, Percy just sleeps all day. Yeah. So and they get along. Yep. Well, Percy likes him, that's but good. Preston, I can't leave them alone. He oh. would definitely eat him. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
that, but uh, he's pretty slow and stuff, so he won't catch him. But right. yeah, and then um, the bird just sort of sits with me when I edit, and the cat sleeps. So that's fun. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's nice company. Yeah, I've had dogs, and I love dogs. But yeah, yeah. It's sort of hard though, right? Because you kind of have to really be there for them, right? There's a, lot, there's a lot of commitment with the dog. Yeah, yeah. that's for sure. A cat, you can kind of leave on its own. It does its thing. It eats what it wants, and it sleeps. Yeah, yeah. The dog is a. Uh, a lot more work. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They're like little children, but that's exactly why people are using them in their yeah, they space. are big children. Yeah. yeah. Especially as people like are pushing back children or choosing not to have yes. children. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, For because... babies have become the new yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, they're so important. Yeah. yeah. Have you had any dogs show up at weddings? Like show up, like unexpected or no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, but I have I have had like the like, ring yeah, yeah. the ring bear. Okay puppies, um, lots of those, or just like people using them, you know, as, like with walking with them, standing with them, things like that. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of home weddings or farm weddings, okay. and so a lot of times their dogs are there. Oh, that makes sense. And uh, yeah, they'll use them to like, walk with them down the aisle, or somebody will take them down, or they'll stand. Yeah. And then, you know what, surprisingly they're really good, like I always yeah. expect them to like start barking, <laughs> or like go wild, but knock on wood, we've had some really great dogs. Yeah. So. Yeah. I haven't had a dog. Yeah. No, I had a dog like at photos part, like yeah. the formal photos of the wedding, but not ever at a ceremony. Is it hard to shoot no. dogs? No, no, they're good. Yeah, I like it, but I think I just I love animals. Yeah. So like whatever you're comfortable with is going to be easy for you to shoot. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. See, my dog hates the camera, so <laughs> we try to do a family shoot this summer, and yeah. like he's just like turns his back to the camera <laughs> constantly. So yeah. I feel like family photos or like at a wedding where you're yeah. pressed for time yeah. would be a lot harder with working with the dog, but if yeah. you're good. Yeah, I haven't had an issue. I mean, I've only, I think I've only had dogs at one wedding, but like I would say something like at least 50 or 60% of my family photos or engagement yeah. photos they bring the dog. And they always kind of say, like, should I? And I'm like, yes, definitely, like, bring the dog. <laughs> yeah. And then I have, like, um, certain spots that I like to go with the dogs because you don't want to be at, like, Victoria Park. No. Where there's, like, 100 <laughs> people, there's kids, there's distractions. You want to be somewhere, like, a little bit more quiet. Right. Yeah. Have you seen me puppy bouquets that people are doing? No. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, I, don't, I haven't looked much into it. And, like, I have seen it where people are getting, like, rescue puppies and stuff, and they're using them as bridesmaids bouquets. Oh, I have seen that. And, yeah, instead yeah. of instead of uh, actual florals. But I wonder how that actually works. Pants out. Yeah, on a full day, you know? Like, because yeah. a puppy's a puppy. Like, you need to go outside of the bathroom, and, and yeah. you know, it sleeps and stuff. So it's not like you yeah. just put it down like your flowers. No, there's got to be, like, a puppy sitter yeah. or something. Something. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, do they all get adopted at the end of the day? I would hope so, but... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. I know. I should look into it. But. Yeah. And cats. I haven't seen cats involved in weddings. I would like no. to see some. I, <laughs> I think that would be can. harder. Why you could do the table number thing. Yes. Yeah. Which I think would be super cute. Yeah. Or like little floral crowns or something. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one time, um, someone that I would worked at TD Can Trust with yeah. asked me to come photograph their cats. And I have photographed like a million dogs because people just always bring them right. But cats... Mm -hmm. People don't tend to want to have their cats photographed. I don't know why, but she invited me to her house to photograph her cats because I think one was having to be adopted somewhere else or something. I forget oh, the story. Okay. So, um, yeah, like that was probably the best day of my life to like just shoot cats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she sounds terrible. Yeah. <laughs> In the photography world. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would be cute. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, I think cats are less responsive than dogs they are. in the sense that, like, you know, yeah. it's a, can't say sit, stay. No. But yeah. you get a little bit more candid shots of them. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I try to photograph mine a fair amount. But yeah. Most of it. They probably let you. Yeah. They're just, just sleeping. Just right sleeping. Now. Yeah. yeah. Just sleeping. They probably all look the same. A lot of their photos look the same. Yeah. They do. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Cute. So, what are you most excited about for their, the coming wedding season? Oh, that is a big question. Put you on the spot. I know. <laughs> um, I'm going to work in some new venues. Always exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, getting your foot into new venues. Um, I'm going to work in some venues that I've been in before and that I really love. Mm -hmm. That's always nice. Yeah, that is um, nice. Which do you prefer? Do you like the excitement of going somewhere new or do you like the familiarity of... 
It's hard to say because every wedding is so different yeah. regardless of where it is, right? Like yeah. I like to see what people do with a venue I've been in before. Um, mm -hmm. I like to see how they, you know, change it with florals and decor and um, all those little elements that go into the day. Yeah. But then I also like having a new venue where it's like everything's new and fresh and yeah. it hasn't been done before. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What about you? What would you say you are most excited about? Um, to be honest, I'm kind of excited about our style shoot with Lynn. Oh, yeah, that yeah. that's not one. really weddings, but no. like that's something we haven't done together yet. Yes. So yeah. I'm sort of excited about brainstorming and picking your brain a bit over that. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, hopefully, we can get to that in this winter season. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get that out there. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of out of things to say. I know, me too. <laughs> We're going to cut that part out. <laughs>